I officially moved up a squad into his squad when I was about 12. It's been like about 10 years now. I could see how determined he was racing back then. I had my own squad, but I had one eye on <laughs> Elijah as well, and you just could see that he was ready. You could see like a young colt. <laughs> the thing that makes this partnership work so well is I'm one of the only people that can understand his gibberish. It's like we speak our own language. And Rachel, yeah, he has a very good breaststroke. So I'm just like, I'm pinging out on the fly. <laughs> and he knows exactly what I need to get the best out of myself. It's a tolerance set, it's a tough set. We're trying to work on something and sure, we're not going to throw that out the window at all. I know at Nationals, I think it was the 400, we walked over together from the warm-up pool to marshalling and didn't say a word to each other. We just looked each other in the eye and we knew. It was really special uh, to win my first Open Australian title. It was more so the time and the outcome of the race and how I swum it that we were more proud of. We're just looking forward to the future and seeing what else I can do. He always steps up. Continually, I think, makes me prouder when he gets in that water. He's not afraid to push the, push the boundaries. To say, like, a proudest moment, it's hard to beat, you know, my first senior Australian team at Com Games. Not only, you know, was it on the Gold Coast, my hometown, and Rich was there and my family was there. It was a very proud moment for myself. But to say what's the proudest moment for us as a team would be state champs, my junior world record in the Tour of Freestyle. I have no doubt I probably wouldn't have got it if I didn't have a coach like Rich. So we just have that bond. And I think that's something that's really special. And I guess that's why we have the best you know, coaching swimmer partnership I believe there ever is.